I'd like to think I'm indifferent to body hair, but uh, I guess like subconsciously I'm not. Um, I'm very anti, to be fair. I shave my armpits, I shave my legs, and I get waxed uh, completely. <laughs> I just don't like hair anywhere else but on your head, to be honest. The thing is about body hair, it makes you feel ugly and disgusting and it makes you feel like you're not lovable. You're not a woman who's of a good standard, regardless of how you look aesthetically because you have body hair. It's just looks horrible and especially if you've got dark hair like if you've got blonde hair I can like understand not shaving your legs and stuff but I don't know yeah I don't like to see hair on me. I get laser done and I like it I really like being smooth but I don't care if other women have hair my boyfriend prefers that I have hair but I don't. Like anybody can like groom or not groom or have hair or not so much hair it's just about kind of not expecting the other person to kind of be perfect because it's just a bit stressful. Men would just be like, oh, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, but uh, why? Advertising and, um, I don't know, things like music videos, films, like celebrities and stuff, like everyone is hairless, mostly. In Fiji, they didn't even have eating disorders until they were exposed to Western media and shit. That's not something that just existed. That's completely a consequence of our culture. People constantly trying to keep up with something that doesn't exist. Fake vaginas. Um, obviously they're super sleek, fake asses. It's a totally like a hyper real version of a woman and uh, a, w a woman isn't like a plastic polished thing. You are shown like by magazines and by adverts and everything that being hairless and smooth and shiny is like what's, yeah, what's nice. Starts kind of getting into your head and it's kind of a shame because it's just putting pressure and it's a bit shit that no one was pressure anxiety just because of hair, just because of this stupid thing you have on yourself. I reckon everybody gets a bit caught up thinking that we're not animals. It's a bit of hair, it keeps you warm. I wear like sleeveless like tops all the time and they never notice that I have body hair so I don't think it's such a big thing. I think it's just socially conditioned to be a big thing. I drew a picture one day when I was younger, like 14 or something. It had a, had a woman in it and she was naked and stuff and I basically didn't draw any hair on it. And I sort of showed it to my mum and she's like, what are you doing? That's all wrong. And she rubbed it out and then drew more hair in. And I was like, I was like, sort of like questioning myself, like, what do I really think think about that? Like, what's? And I just realised that I had this misconstrued idea of like what women should be from quite a young age. And I sort of realised I'd never actually seen a woman with like hair before down there. There's no like female figures in the public that don't shave except for like Amanda Palmer. She's like one of the only ones and she gets like so much shit for it. So, yeah, maybe if everyone had hairy legs and hairy armpits and whatever, like no one would make a big deal. I think it's still nice to like wax down there because uh, it gets in the way and stuff. How are we ever meant to be our truly ourselves and like bond with people if we're too worried what other people think? You're just never going to be yourself. Imagine all the hair.